What's going on YouTube? This is 903 Fishing. A little bit different video for you guys today. Me and Hannah have decided that we want to fry up some crappie. Guys, if you're already subscribed to the channel, I greatly appreciate it. I've had some requests for a crappie fry video, so here it is. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, we're really close to 10,000 subscribers. You do not want to miss this 10K subscriber giveaway. Be sure that notification bell is hit as well. But you know what? We're going to get into this recipe. Guys, I got this crappie out of the freezer from the 20th of March from this year, okay, from 2021. I freeze my crappie, I label it, I put where it came from, and I also put the date, of course. Now, this is the crappie. I've already thawed it out. Go ahead and come in here. I've already thawed it out. Now, guys, this is 2% milk, okay? I got these fillets. They've been soaking and 2% milk for about three to four hours, all right? And as you can see, they look really, really clean. But the next step right here is to go ahead and get this milk off of these fillets. We got the milk off of the crappie fillets, guys. The reason why I do that is because it is a known fact that if you soak your fish in milk, it will gather those impurities out of the fish and it will make it as clean as possible. So that is why I soak my crappie in milk. I also actually prefer whole milk, but we went ahead and did 2% milk this time. Let's get into the best fried crappie recipe right now. Let's get to it. We got the yellow cornmeal. You're gonna need two and a half cups of the yellow cornmeal. This is the Martha White. Now, the reason why I like the Martha White is because the grains are really fine and it sticks to the binder really well. You're gonna need three tablespoons of Tony Satchery's, all right? One and a half tablespoons of table salt. Now, guys, salt and pepper, that is strictly for your taste. How much ever you choose to put in there, that is totally up to you. And then you're going to need a half tablespoon of pepper, black ground pepper. Then you're going to need two tablespoons of lemon pepper. Now, the more zist and zazz you want on there, that's the more lemon pepper. But this right here is what really makes this particular recipe kick butt. All right, guys, let's talk about the fryer real quick. Now, this right here is a Zocop dual deep fryer, okay? So it has two baskets. I normally cook my fish on one side and my fries on the other. We got our regular old great value vegetable oil right here, guys. I put one gallon in each basket. So we're gonna go ahead and fill these baskets up. Let's talk about your fish frying settings, guys. All right, so I typically do my french fries on the right side. What I'm gonna do is I go about 320 with my french fries. Now that's not what's recommended on here, but then again, whatever suits you best. Now, the fish, all right? I'm gonna go a smooth 350 on the fish. Now, this is gonna take 12 to 15 minutes for it to get to the right temperature. All right, and when they do get to the right temperature, these two lights will shut off, okay? So that is how it lets me know. I also put a little cornmeal in there and just see what it does. But anyway, so guys, here we go. I got the two and a half cups of cornmeal already in my bowl. Now, I know this looks like a lot of seasoning, but this is all the salt, pepper, Tony Satchery's, and the lemon pepper right here. I didn't wanna show, waste a lot of time doing all that. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and pour this in to the two and a half cups of cornmeal, and we're gonna give it a good stir, all right? A really good stir. Like I said, I love this cornmeal because it is very, go ahead and zoom in right here. It is very fine grain, okay? So it really sticks to the binder. Now for our binder, I have a little bowl of the two and a half percent milk. All right, I'm gonna get all into that right there pretty soon, but we need to go ahead and make sure that these seasonings are really mixed in really evenly and well with this cornmeal. And that should be good. <clears throat> so right now we're just waiting on this deep fryer to heat up so we can start cooking this crappie. All right guys, here we go. I'm gonna show y'all how I bread and batter my fillets. So I got the 2% milk here Set that in there. I'll go ahead and set a couple fillets in. 
Now, you don't want too much liquid going into your batter because that's gonna make the batter clump up and you will not have an even fillet, an even batter on your fillets. I usually put about two in there at a time and you wanna make sure to get those fillets fully covered in this batter. Now, look at that fillet right there, guys. That right there is totally covered, ready to go. I'm gonna set them in there, all right? I, I go ahead and I set the fillets in before I drop them. Now guys, this recipe right here, I failed to mention this earlier in the video, but this recipe is for about a dozen fillets, all right? So I, I got 13 here, pretty close to a dozen if you ask me. So I'm gonna do that same thing. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put about six fillets well, in this case, it's gonna be six and seven. I'm gonna put six fillets in and I'm gonna drop them. So this right here is gonna be four. That right there is a monster crappie fillet, guys. Look at this. That's probably a two pound fish right there. That's probably a two pounder. Put that in there. So there, this right here is gonna be four. And you know what, guys? The good thing about this cornmeal batter right here, this recipe is you can just go ahead what you don't use you can stick this in a ziploc bag and use it next time as well so this right here is going to be my six fillets go ahead and make sure that is fully covered guys fully on there drop them down and then watch this guys this oil is ready and popping we're going to set those in there Guys, I usually cook my fish until I'm about golden brown, okay? But you can cook these till your preference. I know some people that like them really, really, really crisp. Some don't like them as crisp. So that is gonna be totally up to you and what you prefer. We got the first batch of crappie out. I'm gonna hold off and show y'all that here in a little bit. But what I normally do is I wait to drop my french fries with my second batch because it usually takes about the same amount of time for one batch of fries and one batch of fish to cook. So I don't want those fries over there getting cold while my fish is cooking. So we're gonna go ahead and finish putting these last fillets in, and I'm also gonna drop the fries at the same time. This is gonna be so good, guys. I've been using this recipe for a long time. I have made some tweaks to it here and there, but I have found out that this is one of the best fried crappie recipes that there is. Second batch of crappie going in, and I'm also gonna drop those french fries. Now once it all gets really going, this is gonna be it guys. We're gonna go ahead and show you the plate when we're done, and then me and Hannah are about to munch out. All right guys, our second batch of crappie is done. Now I have read a lot where people ask why are my fish fillets getting soggy? Now I'm gonna tell you the reason is, is because more than likely, you're not letting this grease drain from the fillet, all right? Now honestly, I was one of those people that typed in, how do I keep my fish from getting soggy after it's being cooked? And ever since I have started to let my fish, that, that grease drain out. Now, it that don't mean let it sit there for five minutes or anything, but I just kind of watch the drip underneath the fish. And when it's about done dripping, I know the majority of that grease is off of that fish. Take some of this Tony's right here. As soon as those fries come out of the grease, you want to go ahead and, and sprinkle some of that Tony's on there so it sticks to it, so it sticks to the French fries. I love this. This right here just gives it that extra little kick. Scatter them around a little bit. And now you have some seasoned fries to work with. Here is the second batch of crappie. Come on over here so they can see this. Nice little even fillet right there. Even batter on those fillets. Yes, sir. And then here we have the French fries. that right there guys that right there is a crappie platter all right now also i wanted to add got this red lobster cheddar bay biscuit mix from walmart a dollar 88 makes up to 10 biscuits 
These types of biscuits right here, this is what we love to eat with our crappie right here. Cheddar Bay biscuits right here from Red Lobster. Like I said, Walmart, $1.88 a pack, and it makes you up about 10 biscuits. So this is our finished product right here. Look how that batter is evenly coated on that fish. Let's go ahead and give it a break. That right there, guys. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. Hopefully I don't burn my, my lips. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. I'm telling you guys, best fried crappie recipe on YouTube right here. If you don't try this recipe, you're really missing out. On the other hand, if you do try this recipe, I want you to comment down in the comment section below. Let me know how it went for you. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Be sure to let me know. If you like this video today, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Guys, me and Hannah have a lot of different ways to cook these crappie. If you would like to see more of these types of videos, be sure to drop a comment down below. Like I had said at the beginning of this video, the 10K subscriber giveaway. Guys, I've showed y'all in the past couple of videos. I know that two ACC crappie sticks will be given away in the 10,000 subscriber giveaway. So make sure that subscribe button is hit and don't forget about that notification bell. And guess what? Like always, like, comment, and subscribe to 903 Fishing. Y'all have a great day. God bless.